In the vast tapestry of Earth's history, there are tales of remarkable creatures that once graced our planet but now exist only in the annals of memory. These stories speak of loss, greed, and the consequences of human actions. So join us as we delve into this video and explore some rare videos of those extinct animals. Yavin Tiger The Yavin Tiger, a type of tiger found on the Indonesian island of Java, existed until the mid-1970s. It was known for its large size, dark orange coat, and black stripes. These carnivores hunted animals like deer, boar, and buffalo, and liked to live in tropical forests near water. Sadly, they went extinct because of human actions, such as hunting and the loss of their homes. People saw them as trophies and threats, which led to their decline. Legal protection came too late, and habitat loss continued due to population growth and development. The last one in the wild was seen in 1976, and they were declared officially extinct in 2003. The Bubal Hartebeest The Bubal Hartebeest, also known as the Northern Heart of Beast or Bubal Antelope, was a type of large antelope found in North Africa, from Morocco to Egypt. It had a sandy brown coat with white or black markings on its face and legs, a long face, a short neck, and curved horns. Unfortunately, it became extinct due to hunting and losing its natural habitat. Many cultures saw it as a symbol of courage and royalty, but also as a threat to livestock and humans. Europeans and locals hunted it for sport, and its habitat shrank due to farming, desertification, and human settlements. The population declined from around 100,000 in the 19th century to less than 1,000 in the early 20th century. The last confirmed sighting was in Algeria in 1954, officially declared extinct by the International Union for Conservation of Nature in 1994. Caspian Tiger The Caspian Tiger was a type of tiger that lived in Central Asia from Turkey to China. It was one of the biggest and strongest tigers, with thick fur and dark stripes. It mainly ate animals like deer, boar, and camels, and liked to be near rivers, lakes, forests, and reed-covered areas. Sadly, the Caspian tiger disappeared because of people. People hunted it for fun, money, and to protect their animals. Even though laws protected the tigers in the 1930s, they lost their homes because of farms, water projects, and towns. There used to be about 100,000 Caspian tigers in the 1800s, but by the 1950s, there were less than 1,000. The last known wild Caspian tiger was shot in Turkey in 1970, and the last one in captivity died in a zoo in 1997. Some tigers in zoos and circuses might have Caspian tiger ancestors, but we're not sure. The Tasmanian tiger. The Tasmanian tiger, the thylacine, was a big marsupial predator that looked more like a wild dog than a tiger. It had short yellowish-brown fur, dark brown stripes on its back, and rump a long snout, pointy ears, and a thin tail. This animal was the largest carnivorous marsupial in recent times, about 39 to 51 inches long with a 20 to 26 inch tail and weighing between 33 to 66 pounds. Like other marsupials, it had a pouch in which it carried its babies, holding two to four at a time. These animals used to live in Australia and Tasmania. Still, they went extinct in the 20th century due to various reasons like humans hunting them, losing their habitat, competing with other animals, and getting sick. European settlers saw them as pests and paid rewards for killing them, and the last one died in a zoo in 1936. Some people claim to have seen them in the wild even after they were declared extinct, but scientists haven't verified these sightings. The Splendid Poison Frog the splendid poison frog, though poisonous, shouldn't have faced extinction. This colorful and deadly amphibian thrived in Panama's western woodlands. It belonged to the poison dart frog family, known for their bright colors and toxic skin secretions. The splendid poison frog had a yellowish-brown body with black dots and a red belly. It was active during the day, eating insects and small invertebrates. Habitat loss from logging, farming, and development, along with hunting for the pet trade, drove them to extinction. Locals even killed them, believing they were bad luck. These actions harmed their hiding spots, water quality, and protection from predators and disease. The Chinese River Dolphin The Chinese River Dolphin, or Baiji, lived in China's Yangtze River for 20 million years until humans caused their extinction in less than 50 years. These dolphins had bulky bodies, 
rounded flippers, tiny heads with a melon-shaped forehead, a long upturned beak, and small eyes positioned high on their head. They lived in small groups and were not very showy. These dolphins relied on echolocation to navigate, hunt, and communicate in the murky river waters. However, as the Yangtze River became noisier due to human activities like shipping, their ability to use echolocation became challenging. The construction of the Three Gorges Dam further damaged their habitat, and the noise and pollution made life extremely tough for them. In 2007, after a dedicated six-week search, the Chinese River Dolphin was declared extinct, with no reported sightings since 2006. The Western Black Rhino The Western Black Rhino, a subspecies of black rhinoceros, used to roam African savannas. At the start of the 20th century, there were about a million of them, but by 2001, only about 2,300 remained, and there were just three subspecies left. These rhinos faced challenges like sport hunting, loss of their habitat due to farming, and being seen as pests by farmers. The demand for rhino horns in traditional Chinese medicine also drove poachers to kill them. Between 1960 and 1995, up to 98% of black rhinos were killed, with the western black rhino being hit the hardest. By the 1980s, they were only found in Cameroon and Chad, with numbers dwindling rapidly. In just 10 years, they were completely wiped out in Chad, and by 1997, there were only around 10 left in Cameroon. Barbary lions. Lions, often called the king of the jungle, couldn't escape the threat of extinction. The Barbary lion was a special type that lived in North Africa, from Morocco to Egypt. These lions were known for their big size and unique appearance, with long, dark manes covering their chests and bellies. They lived in groups called prides and hunted animals like gazelles, wild boars, and camels. Sadly, Barbary lions disappeared because of humans. Some people saw them as symbols of royalty and bravery, but others considered them a danger to their livestock and safety. European colonizers and locals hunted them for sport, trophies, and rewards. The lions also lost their homes due to farming, desertification, and growing human settlements. Their population dropped from around 100,000 in the 1800s to less than 1,000 in the early 1900s. The last confirmed wild Barbary lion was shot in Morocco in 1942, but there were unverified sightings in Morocco and Algeria until the 1950s and 1960s. The last Barbary lion in captivity died in 1959. Some lions in zoos and circuses might have Barbary lion ancestors, but it's uncertain. The Pyrenean Ibex. The Pyrenean Ibex, also known as the Bucardo, faced the unfortunate fate of extinction twice. This subspecies of the Iberian Ibex lived in the Pyrenees Mountains of France and Spain. It had long horns, a brown coat with dark leg stripes and a pale belly. These herbivores lived in groups of 10 to 20 and were territorial. Human activity, including hunting and habitat loss, led to their demise. Locals hunted them for meat, leather, and horns, while habitat loss resulted from farming, deforestation, and human intervention. Their population dwindled from 50,000 in the 19th century to less than 100 in the 1990s. The last confirmed sighting was in 1999, and the last captive Pyrenean ibex named Celia died in 2000. Scientists attempted to clone the species in 2003, but the cloned animal died shortly after birth, marking the first cloning of an extinct animal and its second extinction. Lonesome George Lonesome George was a male Pinta Island tortoise and the last one of his kind. He was incredibly rare and a symbol of conservation efforts in the Galapagos Islands and worldwide. In 1971, a Hungarian scientist discovered him on Pinta Island and reported it to the Galapagos National Park. Sadly, Pinta Island had been harmed by feral goats, introduced by miners who also hunted the tortoises for food. People believed the Pinta Island tortoise was extinct until George was found. He was moved to the Charles Darwin Research Station on Santa Cruz Island for protection. The hope was to find a female of his species, either on Pinta Island or in a zoo, so George could have babies and save his subspecies. However, despite many searches and genetic tests, no other Pinta Island tortoise was found. George was introduced to two females from a closely related subspecies, but they couldn't produce any healthy offspring. On June 24, 2012, 
George was found dead in his corral, shocking those who cared for him. He died of natural causes, which was surprising because tortoises like him can live up to 200 years. His death marked the end of the Pinta Island tortoise and a sad loss of biodiversity for the planet. What do you think of these rare videos of jungle animals? Comment below and subscribe for more such videos.